Hey everyone, today I want to show you something truly unique. We're going to design a complete fixed wing drone concept and you won't believe where we start. With just one single sketch command, the horizontal construction line. This video will showcase the speed and efficiency of a professional CAD workflow that leverages the power of a feature script, the profile generator. From that one line, we'll quickly move into advanced modeling, applying surface tools like loft and fill to shape the aerodynamic body and using precise 3D curves and planes to perfect the design. Without further ado, let's start. I will start with a sketch on the right plane. Press N for a normal view, P to hide all planes, then L and Q for a construction line from the origin to the right and dimension that line with 600. I'll press F to place that in focus and exit that sketch and then I will pick one feature script, the profile generator which I have here. If you don't have it, you can add it by pressing this button, add custom feature. And so this profile generator lets you pick an NACA profile. NACA is an acronym that stands for the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. And there's this database with uh, plenty of airfalls. I'll use for the first one the 0012, which is a symmetric airfoil. So I need to pick a plane, the plane I was sketching that line on, and two points, the origin and that endpoint. And on shape, or that feature script, creates this sketch here. Next, I will define a plane by an offset value of 48 from that right plane and sketch another construction line on that plane. So this is 188 millimeters long. I'll hide that um, sketch number one from that profile generator for a moment. Show that sketch number one and place with a coincident constraint that point on that line and define that line by a distance of 148. And that's it for that sketch. I can hide the planes by pressing P. And with that sketch number two, I will pick another profile with that plane one and those points and this time it's going to be an asymmetrical airfall for the wings. I, I pick the 2412. Accept that and now I will create that first loft between those two. So I go into the loft command and the surface option and just pick that first sketch and the second one. I'll define some 
and conditions normal to profile for start and end with a magnitude of 1. I'll just change the appearance of that surface to some gray color. I can hide those two sketches here. And I want to split that face with a plane just to change the appearance of that later on. So again, I take the plane command with the offset, pick that plane number one I had defined, go in the opposite direction with a value of 12. And now I split this face with that plane. There's that curve that indicates the split. I'll continue with um, the wing. So I want to give the wing an, a length of um, 888. So I take that right plane to find that value. There's that plane. I will look for that one sketch here, make that visible and maybe even more visible by changing that sketch appearance. And then continue with the sketch on that plane number three. And again, that will be a horizontal line. First, I'll apply a coincident constraint between those two endpoints. And then that value of 98. I exit that sketch and go back to the profile generator with it plane number three. This again will be the two, four, one, two um, airfall with those two points. I accept that and uh, create my second loft between that sketch number one here and that other one. And I'll just make that a straight loft with no special profile conditions, adding to our initial surface. I exit that, hide that sketch here, and work on the wing tips. For this again, I make this sketch visible, change the appearance, and define one plane with that um, sketch line and an angle of 30 degrees. Then I will offset that from that plane with a value of 88 and sketch on that plane one more horizontal um, construction line. Again, attaching that to that base sketch with a coincident constraint and 
give that a value of 76. I'll use that construction line for one more um, profile. Again, uh, 2, 4, 1, 2. There. I'll hide the planes. Hide that sketch. Show that sketch here, that's sketch number four. And define two curves, and that'll be a 3D fit spline with that endpoint to this one with the start direction of that right plane and the magnitude of 0.6. Accept that and to find one more with these two points. with that same magnitude. Okay. Now I'll make that loft for the wing tips. So this is from that base sketch here up to that one with uh, guides and continuity of those two splines. Accept that. I can hide all planes with Shift H and with the fill command I can cover that gap. That's our drone so far. I'll go back to our sketch number one here. You can color that as well. And work on the V tail. I'll apply a similar workflow. First, defining one plane with a line angle at a 45 degree. Next I'll apply a, an offset here of 222. I'll continue by sketching one construction line on that base plane and again I'll place a coincident here give that line a uh, distance of 88 and 44 from that endpoint and exit that sketch. There's that sketch. If I want to hide this sketch, I can just um, do so. And then one more construction line on plane number seven. I'll give that a length of 44 and place a coincident uh, constraint between those two endpoints. Now I'll go back to the profile generator, start with that bottom one. For this I'll take a thinner airfall, symmetric airfall, indicated by the first two zeros. Take that plane, that endpoint, and that one. Accept that. Okay, 
I picked that vertex, but I need to pick the two of those. Okay. And repeat that on this plane. That same airfall. Those two vertices. Okay. And then one more loft between those two sketches. No particular profile conditions. And one more fill here. And let's use one more surface tool to clean the inside here with the mutual trim. So we got those two surfaces, this one and that one. And by picking those arrows, I can indicate what I want to save and what I want to trim. So that's it. And I merge the two surfaces. Okay, so we modeled half of that drone and I'll just mirror that part over that right plane, our initial sketch plane, adding to our part. All right, before I do the mirror, I'll just uh, select those surfaces here and apply a different appearance to that. And there you have it. From single lines, we've created a complete drone concept in just a few clicks. The power of Onshape's integrated tools and workflows means you can go from concept to model faster than ever before. This is a workflow that's simply not possible in other CAD programs. If you want to take this project further, remember to apply for your free Onshape professional subscription using the link in the description. In the next video, we'll use professional features like Render Studio and I'll be answering questions from this video in the next part of the series. So comment below and tell me what else you'd like to see. Let me know.